Hello Android users, today I'm going to show you a little bit of Diablo 1 running on a PlayStation 1 emulator, FPSE. This is a paid app you can purchase from the Google Play Store, and it runs pretty much every PlayStation 1 game. Now this differs from the PC version of Diablo 1. This was intended to be played on PlayStation, so there had to be modifications to the game system to enable it to be played on a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. So you can see there's quite a number of buttons around the screen. And Electronic Arts had a hand in this. This works fine with the audio. Now, one of the main differences from the PC version is that you don't have spoken audio. Let's start it up. You can see the video playback plays very nicely. Everything runs quite smoothly. Let's get into the game. Now, the touch screen controls are easy to navigate. FPSC is an excellent emulator for PlayStation 1 and well worth the purchase price. Actually, I think I have a saved state, which may be a little quicker. You can save states in addition to saving in the game, so I can quickly load like that. Here you can see me and Tristan. Little bird sound effects have been added. Let's talk to Kane. Now you'll notice the dialogue comes up, but it's not spoken, which is a difference. It's nice to have the music in the background. Let's go to the first dungeon. The frame rate is quite smooth. You'll notice uh, that the menu systems are a little bit complicated in this. Like when you press select, for instance, here's your whole menu system. And there's quite a bit. Now let's load our way into the first dungeon here. And again, no spoken dialogue, but you can read it. Load times are reasonable. Pretty much what you'd expect from uh, if you're actually running a PlayStation 1. And here we are in the first dungeon. Graphics look nice and clear, although you can't change the resolution. As you can see, it's fun to play. Uh, game system has been a little bit modified from the PCs to make it playable. You don't have quite the quickness and response that you would have from a mouse and keyboard.
And there, once you've made a little progress, you've done some hacking and slashing, you can save in two ways. You can save a state, which is probably what I would recommend for saving, because it's the quickest to load and quickest to save. You can also go to your select menu and very slowly make your way through the save menus through the memory cards. And it's nice that the FPSE emulator has the save state option. As you can see, this is quite a bit more time consuming just to save our game. But either way, they both work. Anyways, this is Diablo 1 running on FPSE on my HP touchpad with Signage and Mod 9. Please subscribe to see more interesting videos and game play videos like this in the future. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this little video. Thanks for watching.